In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to normalize a relation into what's called second normal form. Uh, second normal form means that the relation contains no partial dependencies. And a partial dependency is something where, is, in this particular example, you see 1, 2, 3 is the primary key in the relation A. A partial dependency would be, uh, if you look and you see 1 determines 4, 5, you see 2 and 3 determine 6, 7, 8, 9, you see 2 determines 6, 7, and 3 determines 9. 1, 2, 3, 2, and 3 are considered partial dependencies because they are they make up a single piece of the entire primary key. So as you see, you have 1, 2, 3 as the entire primary key in the A relation. 2 and 3 together determining 6, 7, 8, 9 is a partial dependency because 2 and 3 are not the entire primary key. So to begin to normalize this, we first look at it and we see that the first partial dependency we come across is 1 determining 4 or 5. So we create a second relation that we'll call B, and we place all of the keys, that or all of the uh, numbers that involve 1, 4, and 5 into that particular relation. So we have B, 4, 1, 5. Next we need to say that 1 becomes the primary key of the B relation. This is because 1 determines 4, 5 as shown in the functional dependencies listed above. So what we do next is we go to the A relation, and now A becomes a new relation with 1 linking back as a foreign key back to B. We then remove 4 and 5 from the new A relation. And A now looks like this. Next, we write a statement. B1 must exist in A1. Now, we have a new, or rather, edited version of the A relation. A is now A123678. Now, if we look, we still can have more partial dependencies. 2 and 3 determining 6, 7, 8, and 9. To create a third relation called C, and we place 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, and 9 in there. Now, 2 determining 6, 7, and 3 determining 9 are covered in that particular relation, so we don't need to do anything with those at the moment. So now we go back to our new A relation, or edited A relation, and we see that 2, 3, well first let's make this the primary key, then we see that 2 and 3 in the original A relation need to become our foreign keys linked back to the new primary keys in C. We then remove 6, 7, 8, and 9 from the new A relation. Now you can see, oh, we must write our statement here, C, 2, 3, must exist in A, 2, 3. Now we look back and we see that we have an A relation, a B relation, and a C relation. Now if we look at A, it's now in second normal form, because we've just done what we did with B and C. We look at B, it's definitely in second normal form because there's only a single primary key, so there's no way we could have a partial dependency on that. But if we look at C, we see that we, see that we have 2 and 3 as a primary key. Since they are a composite primary key, 2 determining 6, 7, and 3 determining 9 are going to be partial dependencies of that particular relation. So we create a third rela or a fourth relation rather, with 2, 6, and 7. 2 becomes the primary key of the D relation. And then we have to edit the C relation. 2 is going to become the foreign key. And we're going to remove 6 and 7. Just want to spread that out here so you can see step by step what we're doing. Okay, now we have to write our statement. C, excuse me, D2 must exist in C2.
Okay, so now we have a new relation, D. But our C relation is not yet in second normal form because we still have three determining nine up here as a partial dependency. So you can see C, two and three are still a composite primary key and three is still a partial dependency. So we need to write another relation, E, three and nine. Three becomes the primary key of the E relation and C is edited to have three as the foreign key and then nine is removed. Now we need to write our statement C E3 must exist in C3. Now we go back and look and we see that we have A, B, C, D, and E. All of these functions or re relations are now in second normal form. Check out the next video to see how to continue this particular relation and place it into third normal form.